love that. I love that you are doing. You've all, but you've always done what you love. That's the thing. You really always have, and you've taken risks all the time. And I do admire that about you. And you've always been a risk taker. You've lost a lot, but you've also gained a lot. But you every bankrupt twice. Yeah, and it's so insane to me. But you still risk it, and you still try every single time. And I love that about you. The passion that you always carry. It's just, I, and it's, it's kind of makes me. Um, I don't know, because I always thought I was a risk taker, and I am when it comes to traveling and adventures and all of that, but I think I'm just so scared of like, like I've always had to take care of myself, you know, so I'm just afraid that I won't, because I don't have anybody else to fall back on if I fail, and I think that's the scariest thing for me, you know? I think some people see it, I'm very uh, irresponsible. Some people think that I'm just like very brave, but if, you know, I have a saying, um, you don't choose passion, it chooses you, and it takes you to a place you can't go without it. So for me, whenever passion grips me, I can't help but to go, and then even I can't stop myself. So a lot of people think I make a decision and I go. It's not. It's just like something takes over me and I can't help but to keep going. So tell them about the time you just, uh, you had to quit college and then you just went to New York. Yeah, that's what happened. I had to quit college. That's a huge risk though. As a, as a young woman, to go to New York and just, you thugged it out, right? Well, I got sick. Um, I had uh, like a bacterial infection that led me in the hospital. I had to go under and all of that. So I had to withdraw from school. I was out for like, I think like a month or something. And um, I think that was when I was like, kind of close to realizing like how health is everything and I was like I have to do something right I, I I was lost I was a bad kid I got into a lot of trouble not bad inexperienced yeah not bad it's just hurting mostly hurting and wanted attention and wanted to know what life was about right. so I made a lot of bad choices like we all do you know um I was like in K-Town at 15 drinking so dude, this is why I can this is why I can drink the way that I do um, but so I got sick, had to withdraw, and uh, I always wanted to do fashion. I just never thought that like it was I was capable of it. At the time, I remember Chiago. I met him, and we started dating. He was like a model for, for New York models. Like a very famous. One. Yeah, he was really big at the time, and we started dating. Good looking dude. Yeah, he's a model, so yeah. He's <laughs> pretty good looking. He's Brazilian too, so I guess I do kind of have a type. <laughs> and yeah, it was the biggest risk that I've taken. Not the biggest, I've taken other stuff, but... What were some of the people that you actually worked with? Um, I worked with Mark Jacobs. I met Jay-Z on a shoot. Really cool. I just brought him the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a businessman, I'm a businessman. <laughs> when you take the risk, you'll probably feel the biggest pain and uncertainty and fear. But the other side of that risk, the things you get to experience is so glorious that it's worth it. But most people will never see what's behind it because they'll quit in the middle because it's too hard. For me, I have to, I have to see what's behind that door. I have to know. And if I fail, I want to fail after finding out what was behind that door. Yeah, for sure. Also, in, so like, in that finding out and in the struggle is when you have like the best memories and the best stories. Right? Because when I tell you I was broke in New York, like broke. I was sharing a room with my cousin at the time. And that, at that time, um, two buck chucks from Trader Joe's is two dollars. It was called two buck chucks. It's like four dollars now because inflation is real. But <clears throat> yeah, and at the time, two dollars for a bottle of wine, cheap trash wine. But like, if I didn't finish it, you know what I did? I missed it with Dr Pepper. <laughs> I missed it because I was like, I still, I can't waste it when it tasted like vinegar. And I was, I would mix it with Dr Pepper, and that's how I left the <laughs> Cheers to that. Listen to this thing, and I and I got a little bit of money. To this day, when the market is red, I'm hitting up that box of wine. Yes, and I can't do it. I'm sorry. So I'll pop all of mine, and I'll, I'll I'll finish it. 
But you know how after you finish a bottle of wine, your body says, mm, I'll just wish I had one more glass. That's when you say no. That's when, when the box to, wine no, comes out, son. <laughs> She lying. I know her. No, I live right next to a bar. I just go to the bar. <laughs> that's probably where the risk taking came from because you are in almost a circle of guests. Do you think that's where it came from? We're almost like several times. Yeah. Do you think that's why you just like are so such a risk taker? I'm not scared because I've, yeah. I've been to so many jails. Um, I've been in a situation where like everything was taken away from me so many times. So I know that if I take a risk and fail, the least I could. I would do is what, sleep in a couch. I, I was sleeping in jail, you know. So when, when I've been to the lowest of lows, so I'm not really scared of losing it all. Yeah, I think that's such a good point. And I also know my track record speaks for itself. I will not stay down. Yeah, yeah. I will always find a way. To and that, that speaks volumes of your character and who you are because like, a lot of people, you know, when they lose stuff or what they hit rock bottom, they don't know. I don't think our entire family would just can't do that. We just can't stay down. No. Yeah. And once I, and the only way that I win is if I give hundred percent to the call. Yeah. I, and I don't lie to myself. So if I'm split 60 40 between two things, I, I'll, I'll lose both. Oh. That's why I said the passion chooses me. Because I can't help but to go all in, right? So when that happens, it's just a matter of time where I'm gonna make a name for myself in that field. Just a matter of time. Tell the story about UPenn. So I got invited to speak at UPenn about blockchain. So I went and spoke. And the night before I drank at a conference and I went there and I had, with a hangover. So after it was over, I'm coming out. And my friend Charlie texts me and says, how does it feel, John, for a man who didn't even graduate from high school to speak at such a prestigious university? Bro, what do you mean prestigious? I didn't know UPenn was Ivy. I 100% thought it was like University of Dallas, oh, okay. but at, at Pennsylvania, right? I, I will be honest, same. Right? And I, you know you know who graduated from there? Oh, Elon Dallas. Musk. Oh. So it's really a prestigious university. Yeah, yeah. And I said, damn, bro, why didn't you tell me the day before? He goes, John? It's probably better. Probably better. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm sure you killed it because you, you, didn't, were, know. you didn't know. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Going back to um, red flags is <laughs> in a relationship or in a man is someone who is unaware of their flaws and unaware of the things they need to change or grow in. Okay. Because if they're not aware at 30 years old, then at 40, 50, you can't change anybody. Man or woman, they're just, they're, they are who they are. But I, I did meet someone that I was able to be myself around, and that person kind of changed the game for me because I didn't think that person existed. And this got nothing to do with sexuality, nothing like that. It just I just met somebody that was really kind, really understanding, and it made me realize, wow, there are people like this in this world, and it, made, it gave me hope. And also, it made me want to be like that. Yeah. Because I saw the effect that that, that, that person was having on me. I was like, it'd be great if I can have that effect on other people. Yeah. So I think it's really important to meet. This is the clincher. It's very important to meet and date people of different races, yeah. different cultures. Because you learn so much. So much. So much. And that's There's why. So much we can learn from yeah. other people. That's why I don't know about you. I can't wait to our second episode. Yeah. Second episode of the go. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Sorry,